Hey everyone, it's Josh here. In today's software tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through the platform Microsoft Copilot, Microsoft's flagship AI model powered by the same thing that ChatGPT is powered by, GPT-4. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through the platform, overall just how to use it, get more comfortable with the user interface, all that stuff, how to create images, and a few tips and tricks that you may not have known that can improve your user experience and overall time with the platform. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. So something I just want to say right off the bat, you're going to have a much better time at using this platform if you're actually signed into a Microsoft account. So I highly encourage you to go do that and you'll get to a screen that looks very similar to what we have here. Now here's where it says Copilot, your everyday AI companion. Down at the bottom here, if you're signed in, you're going to see a couple different options, things like more creative, more balanced, more precise, and ask me anything, a new topic. And then in the top left, you got things like Copilot and Notebook, which we'll get to in a second. And then on the right hand side, you have what are called custom GPTs, similar to the custom GPTs found in ChatGPT, which are custom designed chatbot models specifically curated for one particular type of conversation. So down here, if we're going to type anything in the balance section, we can just type in something like create a list of groceries for me under $100, for example. So I'll type that in here. So we can see here, I can just simply type create a list of groceries for me that's less than $100 and we'll hit submit. And immediately it's going to start creating that response. So Copilot's going to go and search some things, browse the web, use its resources, and it's going to immediately start putting things together in a real time format. So as we can see here, we've got things like meal planning, plan your meals in advance, stick to the basics, buy in bulk, pretty much all the things that you're going to need to know when you're actually going and creating a meal plan. And at a basic level, this is pretty good. This is what you would expect to find in similar applications such as Claude 3.5 Sonnet and ChatGPT. But what Microsoft Copilot does very well is integrating with other platforms created by Microsoft, such as OneDrive, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, everything. Now while connecting with all those other applications typically does require a Copilot Pro subscription, for the most part, you can get a lot of mileage just out of using this as a whole, just based on its free plan. And I highly encourage you to go check it out. Now, before we continue on with the video here, I do want to give a quick shout out to our AI newsletter, Neural Frontier. Neural Frontier, we publish about once a week and it contains everything you need to know when it comes to the realm of AI, the newest AI tools, news, and tips and tricks that you can use to apply your own AI knowledge to when it comes to getting the most experience out of your tools and the best results. So if you're interested in that, I'm just gonna leave a link to it down in the description below. Feel free to check it out. Now, with that being said, let's get back to Microsoft Copilot. All right, bringing us back to the application here, we're gonna get into some of the customization you can actually use with Microsoft Copilot. So going back up to here, either hitting the Copilot button or hitting new topic, which will bring us back to the main screen, we can create something a little bit more creative. Now, the chat that we just did was on something called more balanced, which was essentially for, as it says, everyday informed chats, but there's different options available to us. We've got things like more creative, start an original and imaginative chat. And then of course, more precise, start a concise chat, useful for fact finding. So for this, we're gonna hit more creative and we're gonna see exactly what it can do. So for this part, I'm gonna ask it to write some sort of creative writing aspect. Let's say, pulling back an example we used in the past, a time traveling vampire. So for this, we're not really looking for anything too factual. We're just trying to test the creative writing capabilities of Microsoft Copilot. And for this, we can see that in the heart of Transylvania, Vladis, Vladislas, Vladis, Vladislaus, whatever it is, Microsoft Copilot is writing an original story based on the subject that we set up. Now, obviously, if I had provided a much more detailed response, Microsoft Copilot would be able to incorporate all of those details into the actual story that it's being created. But for this part, it's just writing a very basic, simple story about a time traveling vampire. There isn't a lot of constraint that you're gonna be placing on a story when you're making a topic as sci-fi and fantasy as that. So for this, Microsoft Copilot is simply gonna go through the process of writing a creative story and off it goes. We have a full short story about the amulet of Eternatus, as it was known, according to Microsoft Copilot, and we have a cute short little story here. But there's also different options available to us. If we go back here to new topic again and we go to more precise, we can say things like who was president of France during World War II, for example. And as you can see, as I'm typing, it's actually trying to auto predict what I'm actually gonna write. So I didn't even need to type World War II there. If I just typed in W, like I, I can just press tab and it'll auto fill that detail for me. So with this, I can go and hit enter again. And with the more precise mode, it's not gonna give me more balance with the balance of creative and precision. And it's definitely not gonna go in the creative direction. It's simply gonna go in the direction of being as factual as physically possible. As we can see here, we have a very strict, concise answer. France was led by Charles de Gaulle, who was not technically a president, but the leader of the free French forces. And it's got all the details right in there. In addition to getting this answer, we also have some links that we can go to, to go get some more information about the particular topic that we're looking up. And we have sources. So we can see here that 
all of the information that's being pulled here is pulled directly from Wikipedia, except for the, his political ideology. Gaullism has become a major influence in French politics. That comes from BBC. And after the Allied invasion in France, de Gaulle entered Paris in triumph, and that's on the History Channel. And building on the conversation, we actually have a few more options we can ask down here, like what role did France play in World War II, tell me more about Charles de Gaulle, and who were the other leaders during that time. Other important questions that could continue the conversation based on what we were already talking about. Next, we're going to be testing out Microsoft Copilot's image capabilities. Microsoft Copilot has the ability to actually create unique generated images, and as well as that, also analyze images. So for example here, I have a picture of Zion National Park that I've just uploaded, and I'll say very simply, what is this? What is this image? And we'll put a question mark there. And if we put that in, it's gonna analyze the image, faces may be blurred to protect privacy, and it's gonna go through and try and analyze what exactly this image is and it's gonna be a landscape photograph of a canyon. Now, at the very basic level, it's actually gone through and analyzed that yes, this is a landscape photograph of a canyon, shows the vast view of the canyon, and basically describes everything about the canyon in the photo. And then, in addition to that, it also does a reverse image search to determine that this is actually Angel's Landing in Zion National Park, and then tells me a few key details about that. So, it not only has the ability to see what's in the image, but actually look it up on the web to determine, based on the context of what you are putting into it, what the best outcome would be, in this case, what the actual picture is of. But, we could take this to the next level. Now, my prompt is going to be, generate an image of someone skydiving into Angel's Landing. And so, we're going to go ahead and hit submit here, and based on the context of the situation, we're going to see what exactly the image that Microsoft Copilot generates is, and how well it stacks up to what you would expect to see when you think of someone skydiving into Angel's Landing. So, we'll give it a moment here, and it'll say, someone skydiving into Angel's Landing, powered by Dolly 3, the same thing that powers the tool that creates images in ChatGPT. So we can see here that we've got four separate images automatically created for us, and obviously based on the picture, this is Angel's Landing. Um, so we can go through and look at these here. We've got helicopters and people jumping out of it. So interesting here. Look at the different aspects of it. As I hover over it, we can actually go through and tell it to redesign specific parts of the image. But if I go back here, this image right here with what looks like an attack helicopter of some kind, and somebody actually just skydiving with their back facing the camera. Uh, I like this picture the best. This looks obviously pretty cool, but we can actually take that and apply different filters on it, things like pixel art, so we can tell it to recreate the same image but with pixel art, and different styles. We have the ability to tell it directly in the chat console what exactly we want it to look like and make any necessary adjustments based on that. So that looks pretty cool. To be 100% honest, that would be a pretty sick phone background. So I'm gonna say it looks good, and we have the ability to copy that and directly paste that into anywhere. Or if we hit the share button, we can share that with others. Personally, I'm just going to download that because that looks pretty sick. So now that it's downloaded, we can actually go on to the final part, which is exploring the custom GPTs. In addition to having a few filters like more creative, more balanced, and more precise, we actually have things called custom GPTs that curate a specific conversation. Now on the right-hand side of the page here, we can see things like designer. Now that's obviously for creating images, if we want to create logos, things like that, what I just showed you. Then we also have vacation planner, cooking assistant, fitness trainer, and even more. So if I go to cooking assistant, we can see here there's things like perfect pizza crust tips, tips for baking perfect bread. This Copilot GPT was made by Microsoft. Surprises and mistakes are possible, your feedback is welcome. And essentially, this is a particular conversation that's curated specifically towards cooking things. It has more information specifically regarding cooking and cooking practices that makes it easier to curate the best answers for someone looking for answers to cooking questions. So if I type in here, how do I bake the best chocolate, it'll automatically autofill it to chip cookies and we can hit enter here and immediately we're gonna get a response from Cooking Assistant that pulls all of its knowledge related to cooking and it's gonna create a recipe for baking the perfect chocolate chip cookies. So it's gonna put on all the ingredients and pretty much everything that you would expect in a typical AI chat model. But more of the information that's pulled towards the specific topic that the custom GPT is based on. Now, I'm not saying you can't get the same response from a regular GPT, but when it comes to curating a better response, you are more likely to get a response that more suits what your outcome is or what your ideal outcome is a higher percentage of the time if you're using a custom GPT that's specifically curated around the topic that you wanna know the answer to. Okay, on to the final part. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's actually possible to connect all of your Microsoft applications to Microsoft Copilot and have it integrated directly into them. So all we have to do here is from the home screen, hit this button that says try Copilot Pro and it'll take us into here where it says you are purchasing Microsoft Copilot Pro and what it gives you is the ability to get priority access to GPT-4 Turbo during peak times for faster performance. You get Copilot in select Microsoft 365 apps. These are things like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all those ones, 
and more importantly, generate unique images and then enhance your creations using 100 daily credits with Designer. That's basically the ability to generate 100 images using Dolly 3 automatically when you have a GPT Pro subscription, or as I should say, Copilot Pro subscription. Now, I should mention that it's very similar to that of ChatGPT's Pro subscription, but both of these have their own specific advantages, this being that Copilot directly integrates with all your Microsoft applications. So if you're someone who uses those on a daily basis, you are going to get a better deal by signing up for Microsoft Copilot Pro as opposed to simply ChatGPT Pro. But again, depending on your specific use case, there's gonna be an AI chatbot out there for you. Whether it ends up being Claude 3.5 Sonnet, ChatGPT, or Microsoft Copilot, it all depends on your specific use case. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. And as always, my name is Josh Mountain, and I hope to see you in the next one. See ya.